then let me go to, to Quinn, who has a, a new book, uh, which you will hear a little bit more um, about um, later. And of course, you'll also have uh, an insight into Nadine's work on the screen later today, so watch the space. Uh, but Queen, you are launching your book tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, you write very passionately about uh, women. In fact, I love the title uh, of your book, We Are the Blessings of Africa. Thinking about the rural women, thinking about a rural girl who are the blessings for everything that they do and give to society, to nature, to climate. Tell us, uh, what have you learned as pressing issues uh, about Af women in Africa as you have been researching, writing, having sleepless nights about your book? <laughs> Thank you so much for that um, very um, important question. When I think about that question, what comes to mind is what many people would jump at, which is um, economic uh, empowerment and education. But um, the more I think about that particular um, economic empowerment and education, the more I think about it, the more, the more I realize that it's actually beyond economic empowerment and just academic education. What we need to focus on is our perception. I call it perceptual makeover where even the people that are um, having issues or going through the problems, if they have not been educated to having a paradigm shift as to what they need or what, um, what we are bringing to them will be, they will not be able to actually actualize that, actualize the empowerment programs that you are bringing to them. So I truly feel that we all, um, both men and women, uh, and the children, of course, need to have a paradigm shift and embrace the change of knowing fully well that we are part of the solution. We are not, going to, we are not just um, helpless people who are um, dependent on aid to come to us, but we have the solution. We are the blessings of Africa. We have the talents in us. And when we see um, and think about our own position and our place in this in the world, in our communities, in, in Africa, then we don't feel helpless anymore. We have the power, and the power is in our hands to make the right decisions for our own work. Have you found that when you engage uh, with the women, they feel this power in them, that uh, they identify with these powerful characters uh, that you believe in? Yes, I know that uh, oftentimes people feel like um, the men are the one in charge. The men are supposed to be the one to make the decisions for us and, and the government. So that is where I feel like the shift needs to come in. That change on, in perception and the way you, pose, you see yourself. Um, so when I bring that this particular idea of us not being helpless and being seen as um, the uh, power agent of change, we are part of the solution. We are the ones to bring the solution then they feel like, oh, I didn't think about it that way. I never thought about it that way. So mm -hmm. I believe that the education we're talking about and the empowerment, economic empowerment we're talking about is, starts with self, starts with the individual, so that we don't keep repeating the same things over and over again, depending on aid and other people to do that work for us. Although we need our government to create an enabling environment for us to be able to function. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the empowerment follows. But you must be empowered to know that you have the solutions, and the solution is right here in our hands. And in this day of social media uh, and everything uh, coming from the screen, are you able to create this hunger for reading uh, that uh, we grew up enjoying, just turning the page of the book? Are we able to really retain that love of, for, for reading? Unfortunately, many people do not read these days mm -hmm. like it's supposed to be. But we do know that there are hidden treasures in the books. We, when we read, when we make our time to read, we enlighten ourselves and we educate ourselves. And um, I call it an adventure too. You can be places where you have not been to, or you can between begin to visualize yourself and visualize solutions and things. So it's um, going to be a lot of work um, trying to help people to look. Look, it's not just um, 
um, social media, we can actually use the social media for our own good because we have ebooks, for example. My book that I'm launching today is in the ebook. So if you're busy, you cannot hold a copy of a physical book, um, you can download your book and read. So, but the fact of the matter is that we must empower our people, our every, uh, Africans, to read because there's often even in America, uh, in America here that if you want to do anything, you know, like hid is, um, a treasure from a black person, you know where to hide it in the books. So we know that we have to encourage our people to read and engage in. Um, uh, acquiring knowledge through education and reading. Mm. Thank you.